So hi, everyone. So today I'm going to show you how I can use Copilot to update a website that I built using Power Pages. Um, and I'm going to use this example of Woodgrove Bank. Now, Woodgrove Bank are in the process of rolling out a new student loans program, and uh, they want to uh, update their website with a brand new page, and they want to reach out to new customers. So let's start right here in our low-code design studio. And over here on the right, we've added a Copilot window where Copilot is always available and ready to assist me. So I'm going to just zoom in for you guys and just ask Copilot to create a product page for a student loan pay for application. OK? Now, while this is often being busy in the background, let me explain what's going on. So as a Power Pages developer, I've always had the option to use HTML and CSS and use the embedded VS Code experience to start my coding. Or I could have used the low-code WYSIWYG Design Studio, like you can see here. And now that we've added Copilot, I can do the same things and get the same results. So we're querying the language model here to find me a layout that suits my scenario. Now, when this completes and returns, what you will see that it will return HTML and CSS tailored for my scenario. It will be fully responsive, and it will be accessible. And whilst this is generative AI, you will still be able to update all of this markup and CSS using the embedded VS Code experience. And now, finally, Power Pages will automatically add uh, context-relevant images to my scenario, which you can also change at a later point. So here we go. As you saw, it returned pretty quickly. That is a page that created purely using Copilot. Thank you. OK, so now um, I want to add some text to this page. I actually want to make it a little bit more informative to the, to the, to the users who are arriving. Right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a text component. And now we have a new Copilot option. And if I click that, we get this in-context Copilot experience. Now. I'm a dev, and I, this is where I would usually have a creative block if someone came to me and said, hey, just add some text to make the page more better. So I would normally grab Laura Mipsum, right? That's kind of getting a bit uh, long in the tooth. So I'm going to ask Copilot to assist me here. So I'm going to ask Copilot to give me an overview of student loans offered by Woodgrove Bank. OK, so again, we're off querying the language model with my scenario, and it's going to return me something immediately, which is some suggested text which I could go add here. Now, below the suggestion returned, I have some options. I can choose to rewrite. I can choose to adjust the length, make it shorter, make it longer. But for this one, I'm actually going to change the tone. So I want to actually make it a little bit more professional. So again, we're going to apply that context to the language query. And here you'll see immediately you return something which a little bit more professional. I like this now, so I'm going to add it to my page. I simply just click here, and here it is in my page. OK. So now the next thing I want to do with this page is actually add a form so I can capture my applicant's details. So again, I'm going to add a new component, which is a form component. So here I select form. Now, again, we have this brand new in-context copilot uh, window. I, here's where I can just use natural language to describe the form that I want. So this time, I'm going to ask Copilot to create me a student loan application form. OK. Now, in the background, well, traditionally, when we build forms, it's quite a lengthy process. We have to do some research. We do some design work. And we do a lot of data modeling, largely before we reach the engineering stage. This is doing it all for you. It's doing your research. It's doing your modeling. It's doing everything. And it will return you a form suitable for your scenario. So over here on the right, you'll see the preview of the form that Copilot has generated, including some sample data. If, I like, if I'm not too happy with this form, I want to make some changes, I can go over, over here to the left. And Copilot has returned me some suggestions. I could choose to use those and um, modify my form um, right here in this, in this uh, experience. I'm actually quite happy with this. So I'm just going to just say, OK. And what this is going to do is uh, add this to my page. Now, in the background, as you know, creating HTML forms isn't actually a, a, a difficult process, but it can take some time. But actually connecting HTML forms to secure data stores is actually a lengthy process. Lots of workflow, lots of clicks, et cetera. What we are doing, we're doing all of that work for you. So right now in the background, what's happening is we are actually creating all of your Dataverse assets and entities and your system forms, as well as updating your pages site with 
the uh, form that you will see in the design studio as well as the end user experience. Now, this can take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to jump to one um, that I created just before I came out here so you guys can see the end result. And so when that dialog returns, you will see a form that looks like this. Now, this is fully connected to Dataverse at this point, and in theory, it's ready to ship. But it looks quite plain. And I think if I was to speak to my design team, they would say, hey, Bob, is there something you can do here that would make this look better? So yes, there is. And Copilot can help with that. So I'm going to go over here back to our right pane Copilot experience and ask Copilot to generate CSS for this form. All right. What this is doing is it's looking at that form and extracting the CSS classes for you. And it will allow me to edit those using the embedded VS Code experience. And immediately, as you see on the right, Copilot has returned and said, hey, you're ready to edit the code. How do I do this? Well, I can use the Edit Code option now for this page. Now, this will launch the embedded VS Code experience. I love this because these are the same toolings that I use on my desktop. Um, but right, I'm, just, I'm right here in the browser doing exactly the same thing I would do every day. And here you're seeing the markup that Copilot returned for you. What I'm actually interested in is the CSS. So, here are the CSS uh, classes that Copilot generated for you, ready for you to fill in. Of course, I have created some styles earlier that I'm just going to grab and paste right in here like that. And I would need to save this file. And I will need to go back to the studio. And here I'm going to press sync. Now, what's happening here is we are updating the data store with all of my CSS content. And we're updating the design studio, so I'm ready to see this in my preview window, too. And here we return with my updated form with all the styles I just put in. 